on guys it's uh 5 45 sunday morning didn't make it out yesterday afternoon the uh hunt at the back of the farm in the morning was kind of a bust did a little call and whatever didn't end up seeing anything um we were hunting the front side of a cold front and a slushy snowstorm that came through this morning it looks like everything's just wrapping up i've looked at the forecast um, six o'clock there's a 80% chance and then at seven it drops right down to a 20% chance so we're hunting the opposite side of this front that's passing through and everything I've heard sort of experienced it myself on the opposite side of a front you always tend to do a little bit better um, so we're gonna head to the state land this morning because I haven't been back there in two weeks and I've had a trail camp back I'm gonna pop the card out of that throw a new one in it get up in the stand and uh, we'll see what happens. We'll just play it by ear, maybe do some calling, definitely uh, go through the pictures on the camera and the off time, and well, there's nothing left but to get out and go do it. See you guys there. Well, guys, it's about a quarter after seven. It's finally light enough to do a little video. We do have some snow on the ground. Not much. I don't think it's gonna stick around. But it's chilly. Seems like the rain or snow, wet mix, is starting to let up. Uh, thinking here in a little while, I'll do some grunting, start off soft, and uh, we'll see. Later on in the day, if there's no action, maybe we'll try rattling. Stick around. seen a squirrel yet. Just a fisher cat. Just heard some footsteps off in front of me. Didn't get to see what it was. Likely it could have been a squirrel. But I'm going to go ahead and do some light grunt just in case there is something.
starting to see quite a few squirrels. I do have a small game head on one of my arrows. <clears throat> and I am not opposed to sticking a squirrel and taking him home for lunch. If I get a shot, I'll make sure to show you guys. four <clears throat> nice does two probably last year's fawns and uh, the other two are big mature does and uh, one of the little ones come up right to the bottom of the tree and was gonna come right in front of the stand and one of the big ones behind her locked right up at the tree. I don't know if my scent is on the ground right there enough that they picked it up when they got underneath the tree or what. But uh, they worked their way behind me. I have some crappy footage of them. But they worked their way behind me and uh, basically wandered off into the woods. Never did have a shot, but that's promising. Um, I'm surprised there wasn't a buck with them. It's, uh, it's a time of year you wouldn't really think to see does alone. But I'm going to stick out the cold. Give it some more time. And see what happens. Keep them eyes peeled. sure my tripod fell over when I shot or before I shot but uh smoked a little red squirrel it's been bugging me all morning coming up in the tree and barking at me making all kind of noise so we let him have it make a nice little treat when we get home I think I'm gonna get down I'm freezing feet are cold and uh basically hunt my way back to the truck 
nice and slow walking. Let's see if I can't come across a deer. And uh, if not, hopefully try to get back out here this afternoon. Catch you guys later. Well, guys, ran into some equipment trouble when I got home to the farm today and uh, screwed up my plans for the afternoon. Today is Sunday. It's about 3.30. Um, it's probably the last afternoon of bow season that I'll get to hunt before gun season comes in next Saturday. Um, legal light ends I want to say 5.30 might be a little earlier than 5.30 so I got about two hours to sit um so I decided to just go to the blind behind the farm and have time to hike back to the tree stand on the reservoir so I had a picture last night um it was at 5.34 of a really nice doe in the food plot. I'm all for shooting a nice doe tonight. It's going to be a real cold week. Um, low 40s all week. So it gives me plenty of time to hang it up and let it cool. And that will be a good start to putting the meat away for the year. So snow's flying quiet it's nice I'm just gonna hang out in here for the last two hours of the afternoon and see what happens I'm not calling at all. I'm just going to stay quiet and see what happens. But I am using a little bit of scent. Um, it's that time of year for the deer. So every little bit helps. What I really prefer for scent and uh, what I've been using this week is... I got a spray bottle of certified heat. Now, this is a VS1 spray. Um, it's made by Conquest Sense. And the reason I found out about this spray, which is doing heat, is I really, really like a product they make called uh, Evercom. It makes a really good cover scent. And it's a wax, like in a deodorant stick. I use it all the time because I don't have very good scent control practices. <laughs> I don't think you need them as long as you play the wind and uh, use a little bit of car scent. By no means am I sponsored by these people. Not even close. That would be a joke. <clears throat> that's just what I really like to use um, it definitely helps I can't say that it works I can't say that you're guaranteed to see anything but it definitely helps so that's what I'm using today and uh, we'll see how it goes I'm going to shut up and hopefully here in the next half hour hour we see some movement. Stick around.
Well, guys, that's not how anybody wants a good weekend of hunting in. But it is what it is. That is pretty much a wrap for my 2021 archery season here in New York. Um, what can I say? It was a good season. Saw quite a few deer. Um, definitely lots of leads. And I'm excited going into next weekend's gun season. Um, because even though I didn't have any success during archery season, all that time spent in the woods is just good plain scouting. Um, so now I've got a lot of information to go off of come this gun season. The only thing that sucks about gun season up here is the pressure comes on real hard. There's going to be a lot of guys out. There's going to be a lot of competition in the woods, especially on the state land. It's going to be swamped. But it is what it is. Um, next weekend, my grandfather's coming up from Florida. We're going to do a little bit of hunting with him for opening weekend. And uh, probably be on my own here and there. And yeah, hopefully we have a great start to the 2021 shotgun opener. I'll catch you guys next weekend. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button and subscribe if you get a chance. Have a good night, everybody.